Hello and welcome to the Criticuculus. Of course, we are in the Empire of Sin. On Friday, we had update 1.03 finally hit for consoles. Unfortunately, I was away this weekend, so I was unable to jump on it on the actual day. So this video is coming to you a little bit later than usual. Sorry about that, guys. But I have managed to actually get a good few hours into this now on the console. And I am pleased to say I have had... A pretty smooth run, actually. Um, a pleasantly surprised, honestly. For me, this patch seems to have made this game a lot smoother. Haven't really had any of the problems, you know, that we would normally face or that I faced on the last uh, version of this game. So it's really, really good to see that this game is a little bit more stable. Maybe even a lot more stable. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this patch, whether this has been or whether it's made your game a little bit more stable as well, because I know that beforehand, of course, this game kind of run uh, kind of bad on the Xbox. And that's what I'm currently playing it on. Obviously, I've been waiting for the console update to finally hit. I'm really glad that it's actually hit us, and it wasn't. It really wasn't too much longer after the PC had already dropped, so um, I also think that's pretty good. So my take from this update, the biggest thing, um, which actually I'm sort of surprised about, because I read... In the patch notes that the exploit for cash in this game has been taken out. However, as you can see on the screen right this second, guys, um, the exploit as I know it, the exploit that I brought to you uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago now, uh, where you can actually clone whiskey or make whiskey be in the game, you can disguise Swill as whiskey. Sell it to a faction, a mob boss, then immediately buy it back as actual hard liquor. Uh, and then, of course, sell that to the miner crew. As you can see, that exploit is still in the game. Uh, the miner factions still have unlimited amount of money. And you can obviously buy back your disguise whiskey as actual whiskey still. Now, as you can see, I actually use janky weapons as in their own weapons as well <laughs> in order to get this booze uh, so you know doing it this way cost me such a minimal amount of money and there is a huge return in cash doing it this way so it is still an exploit that exploit is still in the game another thing that i noticed however now you would have seen this at the beginning of the video is that in every playthrough I've started since this update on console, um, I actually get access to the gold Tommy gun. Now, I do not have the deluxe version of this game at all. I have the base version. I've always had the base version, and I've never seen a golden weapon within this game on the version I've had. However, since the update, guys, I have seen the gold Tommy gun in the black market every single playthrough now i don't know if i'm just incredibly lucky uh, but let me know what you think of that if that's happening in your game as well if you've noticed it if you ever saw that gun uh, before this update let me know down in the comments and of course if you're experiencing the same thing and you're getting a golden a tommy gun every playthrough as well now let me know down in the comments because i think it's an interesting update um I didn't read this within the patch notes, so it's very interesting to see it now appear here. Um, I'm excited. I think that's a nice little plus. It's a nice little bonus. I think that a few people since this update has launched have said that this game still is a little bit hard, that they nerfed it and made it too much of a grind. Um, Daniel Jackson, as you can see, he was supposed to get nerfed quite heavily um, but he is still as OP as ever. He he is an absolute beast, of course. He's the guy that I always um, beat in order to test out little things, little theories. Um, so I've had a hell of a lot of playtime with Daniel Jackson. And I've got to say, he feels just as OP as he always has. Um, and of course, don't forget that that money exploit is still in the game. So if you are struggling for cash, if you do find it too much of a grind... Um, and then, of course, you can always use that exploit to kind of give yourself a little bit more money, especially on a harder difficulties. Of course, as you rank up the difficulties in this game, you start with less cash. 
so this is a way to kind of get that cash at the beginning of the game rather quickly, rather easily. Of course, on the harder difficulties or all difficulties, the game is a little bit tougher when it comes to um, fights now. Of course, the loot crates themselves have also been nerfed. I'm not sure if I like the fact that the loot crates have been nerfed. I did like the loot crates. I still find it rather annoying when you're going up against a thug to find that the loot crate has already been um, taken. I kind of feel like maybe the thugs shouldn't be there. That maybe the AI should have had a little fight there. And it should have resolved that way because I'm kind of wasting my time looking on the map, seeing those thugs there. And of course, once I finally get there to realize that there is actually no bloody crate. That's annoying, but it is really nice to see because of this new update that all the thugs are looking a little bit snazzy now. Some of them have beards and hats and all kinds of little uh, costumes going on. And I think that's a pretty cool little, uh, little addition. It's a small little thing, but it definitely helps with immersion within this game rather than just fighting the exact same guy 20 times over in a space of a minute. I think it definitely helps. But guys, my overall impressions so far with the patch, of course, I've only spent maybe five, six hours within this new patch on the console. Um, I'm impressed. I like what I've seen. I think that the hiding of the safe house helps extend the game a little tiny bit. However, if you are not playing for the safe house rush, you know, I kind of introduced the Nuzlocke rules. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I'm going to be playing a brand new playthrough. I'm going to start tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to start a brand new playthrough with my nice lock rules on the new patch. As you can see, or will see, it's really not that hard to find the safe houses, even with the new little mechanic that they've brought in. Um, so I kind of would like to see another way to extend the gameplay a little bit. Because for me, personally, this game is still a little bit too short. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy what I've seen. Uh, let me know down in the comments, of course, you know, what you guys think of this patch, how it's been running for you, what your favorite ad about this game is. Um, there's been a lot introduced in that last patch, and it's really exciting to see it's just so much being added. Um, but guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you want more ways to support, support this channel, um, then of course, you could always buy us a coffee. Or you could follow us on Facebook because we have got a growing Facebook page um, over there now as well. So I'll put all those links down in the description and you guys can have a little look-see through them. And um, anyway, so don't forget that from tomorrow I am going to be doing a brand new Empire of Sin playthrough. I'm going to choose a character that I haven't completed this game with yet. Hopefully um, we have a good playthrough and uh, hopefully it runs nice and smoothly. But I've been a monk and I'll see you later.